Hi, I'm Ed Charbonneau, Developer Advocate for Progress and Microsoft MVP. And today I'll be showing you how to upload files to Azure Blob Storage with Angular 2 using ASP.NET Core. And this video will create a container using Azure Blob Storage. We'll create an endpoint for saving the file to Azure with ASP.NET Core. And finally, we'll use the Kendo UI for Angular upload component to create a file upload user interface. So before we get started, let's talk about the project setup. I've already bootstrapped a few frameworks so we can focus on the task at hand. In this project, I already have a working ASP.NET Core project. This project was created using the Angular 2 starter application found in the ASP.NET Core template pack. I've also installed Kendo UI for Angular. The first thing we need to do is create an Azure blob storage container, and this is pretty easy and straightforward to do, so I'm going to cover it pretty quickly. We're going to open our Azure portal and go to our storage blade. Once we're in storage, we're going to select blobs and then click the plus sign under blob service where it says container. This is going to create a new container for us, and we'll just name the container and set the security to blob storage. And we're going to name the container photos for this demo. Once we have that set up, we'll click on access keys from the left hand side menu. This will give us our connection string. So we're able to connect to Azure from our application. Now over to Visual Studio, we need to install the Windows Azure storage client library. And we'll do that through NuGet. So here I have my NuGet package manager open. And you can see I've already installed this Windows Azure storage library. We'll be using that to talk to Azure and send the files to our blob storage. Next, I've created a controller under the controllers folder. You can see I have file upload controller. Now in here, we need to specify some routes. And for the route, I'll add an attribute that says the route will be API slash the controller name, which will be API slash file upload. Next, we'll add the controller action. So we'll put the controller action here. And again, the routing will be the same as the action name. So the final routing will be API file upload save file. And you can see I have some under, underlined squigglies here. I'm just going to hit control period to bring up the correct using statement. And I'll add that to the top. So we have Microsoft ASP.NET Core HTTP. And that's where we get our iForm file from. And this is what accepts the form input from the body of the request. Now we'll put in the code that talks to Azure directly and writes the files that our controller receives up to our Azure blob storage. So again, I'm just going to paste this in to keep things nice and quick. And once again, we'll have to add some using statements. I'll just control period, click these uh, underscores here to bring those using statements in. And now we have all the code that's necessary to write up to Azure. Uh, first thing we're going to do is set up the connection string. And you'll notice I have a variable name here. Uh, this will be populated by the connection string that is uh, per your Azure account. This is something that you want to keep private. Uh, so I'm not going to show this in the video. And you should follow best practices on your own application for storing your connection strings and private keys for Azure. Next, we'll create a blob storage client. Then we'll get a reference to the container that we made in our Azure blob storage. Remember, this is going to be the photos container. And we'll get a reference to that block, uh, the blob block in Azure, and we'll set, set the file name from the file that we receive from our iForm file from the request. Next, we can overwrite or save the contents from that file uh, straight into our Azure blob storage using the upload from stream async method. And finally, we'll return a JSON result that contains 
the name of the file, the URI so we can find that file in Azure, and as a convenience, we'll also return the file size. Now that we have our web API portion complete, we can move on to the user interface. As you can see in my client application under components, I have an upload component. So let's go ahead and open the upload component HTML. So right now this is a blank component. There's no template at all. Let's go ahead and add some UI so the user can upload some files. Uh, for this, I'm gonna use the Kendo UI for Angular Kendo upload component. And I'm gonna set the save URL uh, to a variable that will be defined in our upload component TS or TypeScript file. And I'm going to handle the success event with the success event handler. And when I handle that event, what I wanna do is set an image on this page to the content that the user uploaded to Azure. And I wanna actually retrieve the file from Azure and display it on the page. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we'll wire up our template. So now I'm in my TypeScript for the upload component and in my upload component uh, class, there is no code at the moment. So I need to define a few things that were set on the UI. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste these in to keep things quick. And you can see I'm going to set the upload save URL to the API uh, route that we put in our API code. And I'm gonna start off with an empty user pick. And since I have in my upload component an ng if statement, if this comes back as empty, it just will not show. And then finally, I'm going to handle the success event. And when I get the success event back from my API, I'm going to look into the response and get that URI that comes back from the file upload controller's uh, return JSON information. So let's go ahead and save this component and give it a run. And when the application loads, you'll see that I have my Kendo UI for Angular upload component right here that says select files. This will bring up my file storage on my system and I can choose my avatar here and click upload or open. And you'll notice that the Kendo upload component shows the type of file that was uploaded. Um, it has the file name. It has a nice status that shows the file progress and the fact that it was successful by uh, showing that progress in green. And it even shows that the upload is done over here. And now if I right click on this image and choose inspect, you can see that I'm pulling the source of this image straight from Azure. So there you have it. That's how you upload to Azure Blob Storage using Angular and ASP.NET Core.